Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing my next update for my Panda palette for 2021, the Natasha Denona Lila palette. I am so excited and so happy we hit pan in two more shades, and they may or may not both be matte shades. Yes, so before we jump in, let me go ahead and run the slideshow of all of my progress up until this point. And this is my palette now. So as you can see, I did hit pan finally in these two matte shades, which are the ones that I was using the most uh, out of all the mattes on this top row until now. So a little baby pan in this one, a nice little baby pan here. Um, and I did do a little bit of work expanding the pans in the pans down here. And like you can see this one, I'm about to hit the corner here. So I don't know if I want to repress this shade. I might do that, but we'll see how, if it, if it crumbles after I hit the corner here, then I might have to go ahead and do that. And then down here I think like I'm about to hit pan I haven't actually seen pan yet but like I feel like I hit the bottom and I feel like I'm going to like probably like right after I film this and I do another look I'll probably hit pan in this shade so that'll be exciting to see once we finally get there so I mentioned in my last update that I was so worried about finishing and hitting pan in the mats and I have to say it took me what six and a half months of near constant use to hit pan in these two matte shades that is a lot <laughs> and i have to say it has gotten me worried about these other two matte shades so actually right after i hit pan in these i kind of immediately started working with these more because <laughs> so i was like i need to go ahead and start getting use on those now in order to have any chance of hitting pan or finishing them by the end of this year um so that's actually the look that i'm wearing today i've been really utilizing these two matte shades and i did film a look for you guys as well it's been kind of my go-to every day like quick I look, I utilize a cream shadow from Tom Ford, and then I've been using a um, product, a super stark shadow from ColourPop that I'm actually including in another product pan. It is my Petty Project pan. I just posted that introduction. I'll throw it up in the cards if you missed it. So I use those kind of products to give me a really quick look, and by having like a base and a um, shimmer shadow outside of the palette, I can really focus on the matte. So it's, it's gotten me to really just focus on the matte shades, and it's been these two. Before I hit pan, I was doing that same look, but with these two shades, and that's how I got pan on those so I kind of want to switch it up and keep doing the look with these shades over here and honestly this is like a really pretty look it's a little bit more smoky than I'm used to but it's actually not I don't think too dramatic for me to wear it for work because I am working remotely <laughs> now still but I am on camera almost all day so I still have to look like not too like I can't wear like purple eyeshadow to work you know but something like this I feel comfortable wearing for work so I got to a point where I was doing this look just about every day so let's go ahead and jump into how I got this look
So that's how I got this look and that's how I've been doing. Basically, I was gonna say, I kind of hit a, not a rut, but I got comfortable doing like this kind of same similar look, especially has since I've been busy and I've been trying to do my makeup a little bit faster in the mornings. And this is just so easy and like quick to do. We are officially past the halfway point for this year and for this project with, wow, I can't believe it's been that long. It's, it's just flown by, to be quite honest. 2021 is just going by so quickly. And I, I am happy, but I'm also a little anxious because like, yes, I have pan in a lot of these shades now, but it's like using it up. Like I know there's a lot of product in these matte shades. Am I gonna be able to finish the rest of this? Because that's still a lot of product we got going on there. So I think I'm gonna spend this month, I, I really still wanna keep focusing on these other two matte shades, get some really good use in um, on those shades. I've been really bringing in this shade. I don't think I need to work any harder to hit pan because I feel like I am gonna hit pan on this soon. Um, two shades I will admit I am deeply neglecting are these two down here. So we've got that like purple, the purple here and like this nice royal blue. I just really haven't been reaching for them. So I'm gonna make a concerted effort to reach for these two and then keep using these shades over here, which I don't think they mesh personally that well, maybe together, but I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna get creative, maybe look up some tutorials, but I really wanna make a concerted effort on these two mattes and then these two shimmers. All right, and I think that's it for this update. I'm very happy that we finally hit pan in these two shades. Don't forget, if you wanna follow my Pan That palette in real time, check out my Instagram. This is my Instagram page. The, the minute I hit pan in these shades, it goes up on my Instagram stories, and I do post updated pictures of my palette, so you do kinda get the inside scoop there before I actually film this video. Technically, it's about a week before the video goes up is when I film it, so I do tend to just have some more up-to-date updates on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram if you want the latest and greatest breaking news palette pin the palette updates <laughs> thank you guys for watching let me know down below if you're panning a palette in 2021 how it's going and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye